Saskatchewan's HIV rate is two to three times the national rate. We're seeing a lot of infections outside the major cities. There's a bit of a challenge here to try to provide care to people when they don't have access to the, the traditional services that a lot of other people in the country have. The day the doctor told me that I, I suffered from HIV, I felt like he had hit my head with a sledgehammer. It was absolutely awful. The big part of my job is, is the clinical care, and that's the part that I really love. About half my time I spend here in the clinic providing care to the to people living with HIV to day to day. People are very scared when they're newly diagnosed. They think it's a death sentence. I did that too. HIV shouldn't be an all-consuming infection or, or disease state for people. I want to make it easier for people to live with HIV so that it's not at the top of their mind all the time. He, he listens and he's happy to help us. I can see it. She's changing mine. She's changed my mind on what it is to live with HIV. And she's one of the most active 70-year-old women I've ever met. And HIV hasn't slowed her down one bit. Our prep clinic is really exciting. It's the first pharmacist-led prep clinic in the country. And it really came about because we weren't meeting the needs for prevention in Saskatchewan. PrEP is the use of a medication taken by people who don't have HIV in order to reduce their risk of, of getting an HIV infection. We really want to take PrEP out of the hospital and bring it to, to where people are going already for services. Mike is special. He's special. He's cut to work with people like us. Being able to build a relationship with a patient for years and years has been one of the most rewarding things I've ever been able to do as a pharmacist.